where can we start? This movie's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> it just is. Um, yeah. And you know it because this is the story that we're telling. Um, it's, a, it's a difficult story to tell. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. When you're making this, you're, you're in the middle of this, you're trying to understand this, you're watching it unravel, you're watching it be put together. How do you decompress from some of that? Because you're watching greedy people, you're watching people taking, being taken advantage of. Uh, do you like go off set and like hug puppies? And like, how do you transition? Well, you know, the honest answer to that is that I probably do what most people do and what most people did when this was all happening, which was sort of escape into, you know, distraction and, and movies and, and, you know, you, you putting my head in the sand in a, in, a, in a sense. And I think that's what the film is really kind of urgently trying to say, which is like, we've all got to wake up because we almost went down with the ship. And it, it is, it's very, I mean, I thrive on that stuff. I like, I like dramas, I like movies about uh, uh, his, historical sort of moments. Uh, those are always my favorite movies growing up, sort of socially, movies about social justice or movies about sort of really high stakes things. And so this was, you know, I had done Selma with, with Plan B, and I would put those these two movies in the same sentence in a way. They're both about really uh, uh, burning issues in our country that are still not resolved. When you're when you're trying to understand a lot of this, you know, you, yeah. you can go to the book, um, you can go to the strip, you can go to the script. Yeah. Um, are you, how hard is it to <laughs> wrap your head it, it, around yeah. some of this? Because even, I mean, even watching it, they're throwing, you know, uh, Adam's throwing a lot of stuff at yeah. you. Yeah, it's um, a lot of jargon, a lot of concepts that are difficult to understand. I think the great news is we don't really have to understand them the way an economist understands them. We just have to understand the sort of emotional physics of it all. And I think the movie makes that really easy to do. I mean, yeah, I felt really outraged reading all this stuff. I had to read the book. I had to read a few dozen other books in order to understand well enough, I think, to master it for my character. It's all gone now. But, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's really upsetting and alarming stuff that was going on that unfortunately is, is still going on. Is that, I mean, is that one of the things that, that surprised you as you're kind yeah. of uncovering this and seeing how this crisis was propped up, how everything, how the housing market was built, how the economy was built upon that? Well, Vinny kind of explained it to me in that he's, that, that basically everybody's just gambling. They're just gambling. They're gambling with other people's money. And in this case, some of them were gambling in terms of, and this is getting a little technical, but some people were leveraged 35 to one. They were gambling with so much more, with so much money, they were making bets. They were making, you know, bets that were so large that when those bets went south, uh, it was, uh, you know, the disaster was just amplified in every direction. And um, I think, you know, I remember in Michael Lewis's book, he writes about a strawberry picker in Bakersfield, California, who was uh, an immigrant from Mexico who earned twelve thousand dollars a year, and he was given every penny he needed to buy a house for $720,000. And, you know, that's the kind of thing that was happening. And Florida was, you know, of course, you guys were affected. This was like ground zero for all of it. And when we were, some of the movie takes place in Florida, and I remember that day, people kept saying the word Chernobyl. They were like improvising mm -hmm. Chernobyl, and Adam said, we have to stop saying Chernobyl. We said it too many times, but that's kind of, it was, this uh, this real meltdown. So, but when you're going out there, are you going out there and seeing these foreclosed upon houses, yeah. these communities? Had you prior to that, other than you know, maybe what you see on TV or the news? Yeah, no, that, not prior to that. And that it's was very the first time. emotionally. It's you know, it's it's a very emotional thing because what you're seeing is real people's lives who that, that have been affected by by the behavior of the big banks and by Wall Street, and. Um, and and I and I hope that the movie, on a very human level, tries to uh, you know gives that movie to those people. Did you also get a taste of Wall Street? Um, yeah. These bankers. Yeah, we all did. We went. You know, I spent some time on trading floors. I spent time with Vinny and at his hedge fund. And and you know, you're trying to kind of be a detective in a sense, and you're trying to by osmosis absorb as much as you can. Of the of the tenor and the texture and the flavor of that world, so that you can 
capture it. So that was that was uh, that was exciting and a challenge because it was a world that I knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, it's it's really um, yeah. I mean, it's it, like you said, it's a it's a fucked up film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, what's the what's the sense that you get when you're when you're meeting with them? I mean, it, especially now you're meeting with them after the fact is. Is that those those feelings, that behavior, um, that kind of attitude? I think it's all still very prevalent on Wall Street. I mean, there was not a lot of reform. There was not a lot of people held accountable, really, for what happened. And I'm, I mean, I'm I'm an actor. I'm not an authority on any of this. But my sense was that uh, we're not out of the woods yet. And Steve Carell's character in the film says at a certain point, he says, "I thought we were better than this." And 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 I think that's what Adam McKay is trying to, not in a pointing the finger kind of way, but in a way collectively of like, how did this happen? What happened? How did we get into this mess? Yeah, I would agree. And yeah. uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop watching these films. I, it's a really good film. I gotta stop watching them. They take an emotional <laughs> toll good. on me. Well, that's the, best, uh, <laughs> that's the best kind of film, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.